Invade is a project under Horizon 2020 subsidies and we collaborate with several European countries to investigate the collaboration between batteries, heat storage and electric vehicles. We moved the uh, 1000 charging points virtually to two separate neighborhoods that are both all electric neighborhoods but are, which are representative for the future neighborhoods in the Netherlands. And by moving so many charges into these neighborhoods we could simulate the grid situation of the future. We had 1000 chargers and over 150,000 sessions during one year. So that's really a lot of charging sessions and it's not been done before in this scale. And uh, of those 150,000 sessions that we ran, uh, half of them were influenced by our smart charging algorithms. So that's also uh, a big uh, achievement that we managed to do so many smart charging sessions during the, the year of Invade. The whole uh, smart charging algorithm in Invade is based on grid limitations. So we have uh, grid usage in the neighborhood, just normal usage from households, uh, cooking, uh, putting on lights, uh, watching television, etc. And that household usage has a, a, a peak on the energy grid during the evening when people arrive home and start cooking dinner. And we also saw that the charging sessions that take place in the evening were the ones that were uh, most affected by smart charging algorithm. We put in uh, an algorithm in the charging sessions that never allowed charging below 13 amperes. And we chose that boundary because we did not want to, uh, uh, to cause any disturbance in the driver experience. We just wanted to check if the smart charging algorithm worked. And 13 amperes is a sort of a safe boundary. During the charging sessions that we had, many of those uh, lasted much longer than was needed uh, to charge uh, to, a, to a full battery. So uh, even though we did a smart charging algorithm and we uh, influenced the charging speed during the session, the driver still received a fully charged car. Uh, so that's basically what smart charging is all about, taking the use of the time that you have available uh, without causing any disturbance for the driver. One of the goals in Invade was to uh, send uh, smart charging profiles to the chargers based on DSO needs and commercial needs. And uh, a big part of the project was involved uh, in uh, getting the IT protocols working. During Infate, we made some additions to the open uh, protocols in place, uh, allowing it to communicate with the Invate platform. And uh, that is uh, now available for everybody to use. And also if there are some uh, new ideas, uh, it can all be added to, uh, to this working system. The whole uh, idea of using open standards is that it's open for everybody to use and also open for everybody to improve. The conclusions from this project are that uh, the system works. We can uh, send uh, data from a huge number of charging sessions to a central platform and add optimized uh, charging profiles to those sessions and uh, feed them back into the chargers. And we can do that uh, in a, an adequate uh, time response and we can do that uh, in combination with commercial profiles as well, not only DSO profiles. A main conclusion about the summer and winter difference is that uh, smart charging is more easy to do in summer because we just have more capacity available on the grid. And it's something that we have to take into account that perhaps we need uh, several uh, smart charging situations for winter, for summer and also for different geographic locations. So it's not just one solution that will be the answer to the electric vehicle transition, but uh, there will be more. The next step is to uh, make sure that we can get uh, transformer data, so data from the actual grid measurements. And uh, now we had two neighborhoods where we uh, had uh, uh, effective metering, but that's not the standard yet. So that's one thing that we need. And also we need more insight in the actual needs of the cars that arrive at the charger. And we found that uh, now we could manage most sessions adequately with the boundaries that we used, but we treated all cars equal. 
And to improve the strategy a bit further, we would want to have uh, some data on the state of charge of the car at arrival so that we can prioritize the charging uh, and make sure that uh, we make the optimum use of the uh, charging time that we have. The idea of the Invade platform is that we make one centralized system that can be used by many actors, batteries, solar panels, heat pumps and electric vehicles to combine all those new entities in the energy market into one control system. And not only to, uh, to limit things, but to optimize uh, what's happening, to make optimal use of all the renewable energy in, in, the, in the system. And uh, by doing it central in a European project with open protocol standards, we have now proved that we can work together for the uh, energy system of the future. We only used uh, a small difference in charging speed in the Invade project. And uh, we found that in winter time, that uh, limit that we set is not enough. Uh, but we also found during the project that many of the sessions that we influenced via smart charging actually uh, lasted much longer than we needed, even with the smart charging in place. So that means we could have gone lower without the customer noticing any difference in their uh, car charging. That gives a lot of opportunity to improve the, the algorithms further.